A power plant doesn't make power, it generates it, and so does your body if you know how to use it. The business you build and the life you live is going to be powered by the quality of your health and fitness. It's going to be powered by the energy you generate with your health and fitness practices. You might be concerned about COVID-15, that's putting on 15 pounds, but you don't have to be. I have the Lefebvre 15, which you can use to stay fit with only 15 minutes a day. Point, point number one, what happens when you exercise? Your mind becomes sharper. Just think about it this way. When you come to work and you haven't exercised, you're lethargic. Sometimes it takes an hour or two before you even get into the flow of doing things, right? When you exercise prior to coming to work, your mind is sharper right off the bat. And you just kind of want to get into it. You're in a flow of things. You're going, you're moving, you're coming up with better ideas, better ways of, you know, having this thing advance to the next level. What if we do this? What if we do that? What if we do this? Everything does better because your mind is sharper. Point number two, which is an extension of point number one, problem solving. You become a better problem solver. Problem solving requires Point number three, which is energy. If you don't have energy, you can't solve problems. Why? Because, so think about it this way. If you're in a room, in a boardroom, everybody's going back and forth trying to solve problems, and you see everybody do this one signal. Let me tell you what the signal is. This is the signal. You ready? This is the signal of somebody saying, we should just figure something out and leave the boardroom. This is how it looks like. You know what the signal is? What is the signal? I want to go home, right? The signal is, I want to finish this meeting here. We should already wrap up. You could have been seven minutes away from solving this problem in a way so effective that would have helped you take your business to the next level, but you were so tired because you're lethargic from not exercising, not having proper diet, that you just made the good decision instead of the best decision so you don't advance to the next level. And by the way, this happens in sports, this happens in business, this happens in everything you watch because you can tell when decisions are made and this is what happens. The person goes like this. Ah, let's just do it. That's not the best decision. That's just a decision. It's not the best decision. The best decision is, um, if we do this, it does this. If we do this, it does this. If we do this, it does this. Here, let's write this on ta 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 You know what? I think this is the best decision. We're moving with this. What do you guys think? Great. Let's move forward, right? Because you need energy. Point number four. You have better sex in life. Now, what do you mean by better sex in life? Why is this so critical? I hate to say it to you. You know, when you do better in bed and you're having a better sex life, you just feel better. I know this sounds crazy for some people, but it's a part of it. You come to work and you had a good session in the morning, you feel like a freaking rock star, right? Or you come to work, you had a good night the night before, you know, things were pretty exciting. There's a lot of noise being made, some, you know, intensive, uh, you know, things are happening there, things are getting heated, the window's getting foggy, you know, you kind of come to work with a little pep in your step, you know, your shoulders are back, your chin is up, you're like, you have no idea who you're in business with, people. You got a rock star in the house. Better sex life. Believe me, you will feel better when the lights are on. You don't have to say, honey, can we turn the lights off, please? You want to turn the lights off because you're not exercised. You don't mind leaving the lights on if you're exercising. I know this stinks, but it's the reality part of things that we don't like to talk about. Point number five, less jealousy and envy. Why? We become jealous and envious of other people because other people may be taking care of their lives, their shape, their bodies, and we're not. And we're saying, well, you know, well, what about with this guy? Well, what, what are you so worried about this guy? Why are you so jealous of this guy? You know, who is this guy? All he cares about is his body, and all she cares about is her body. So why don't you take care of your body, and why don't you have better diet, and why don't you stop eating junk food, and why don't you drink some more water, and why don't you have some diet? Yeah, you know, but life is not all about being in shape, you know, all this other stuff. When you age, your body does this, and it's because of my age, and it's because of this. I'm sorry, but I've met 70-year-olds that are in better shape than 25-year-olds. I've met people that are in shape at 70, 75 years old. So when you exercise and you're comfortable in your body, I'm not telling you to go out there and look like some of these models. It's not the point. But I'm telling you, when you work out and your energy is good, you don't, you don't have a lot to be envious and jealous, jealous about because you know that you're putting the time in yourself to stay in shape. Point number six, better memory. When you have better memory, you have better relationships. You know why? Because... People like it when you remember things. People like it when you remember their names. People like it when you remember conversations. People like it when you remember something that happened two years ago, six years ago. Like, wow. Benefits you in negotiation. Me me memory helps you when you're selling. Memory helps you when you're doing follow up. Memory helps you when you run into a customer at a networking event and say, hey, Larry, good seeing you. I remember, how's your family doing? Your wife was going through some stuff because she was running the marathon at that time. Right? How did she do with the marathon? Oh, you remember? I was great. All of these things help because you have a sharper memory. Point number seven, stress relief. 
You have a lot of stress. If you're performing, if you're an executive, if you're a leader, if you're running a gun, you're going after it. I got a, a call earlier today. Somebody told me, says, hey, Pat, how's everything with you? This is an old friend from high school. I'm talking years ago, 17, 18 years. He remembers this. This is kind of cool. And by the way, memory also happens. Uh, so we used to cause havoc in L.A. He called me, says, hey, man, you know, I'm just seeing you everywhere. How are you feeling about all this hard work? You know, aren't you under stress? Yeah, you know, you know the, the higher the decisions you make, the person that's got the most stress in their lives right now is a guy that's called the President of the United States. That guy's got stress, okay? Because anything he does, 50 million publications about him that he's the worst president of all time. That's stress. What we do is we're running a business, we have family, this is not big stuff. There's gotta be a release, an exercise, and helps you have a release of that stress. You sleep better, which is the next point. Sleeping better helps you perform better, meaning, when you go home at night, how do you sleep? Do you ever complain about the fact that, you know, I just, I don't know why I have a hard time sleeping at night. I just don't sleep very good at night. I wake up two or three, four different times. Well, guess what? Have you ever gone home because you had such a crazy hardworking day that you would have slept in your car? Like, have you ever fallen asleep in, in your car going home? Why is that? You worked your tail off, right, when you get home. So what if you exercise, you really gave everything that day, you go home, you spend a little bit of time with your kids, your family, whatever you're doing, and then you hit the sack, two minutes, you're gone. Well, you sleep better. Why do you sleep better? You're heavier. You, you sleep heavier, you're deeper thoughts. Why? Because you worked out that day and your body needs rest, so your body says, I've worked out today, I have worked today. Guess what time it is, Pat, what time? We need to sleep, shut it down. Boom, you go to sleep, right? So you sleep better when you exercise. Point number nine, longevity. You last longer in business, which means your value in the marketplace is higher. Let me explain to you what I mean by this. This has got nothing to do with your age. I see 27 year olds that are 300 pounds, 5'10", that will have a shorter lifespan of effectiveness in the corporate world or business. Then I see a guy that's 53 years old who runs 20 miles every week. He is 5'10", 160 pounds. That person's longevity in business is higher than the 27 year old because the 27 year old is walking around like this. <sighs> and that is not good for your health. And it's not good for valuation of your lifetime of the amount of money you're gonna be making. So we gotta figure out a way to have your longevity and life be higher. And believe me, this is not an easy conversation to have with anybody. Some of you are watching this, right? I probably lost a lot of viewers in today's episode. But if you're still here with us, guess what? More power to you for having the courage to listen to these types of difficult conversations that none of us want to have. Believe me, last year, year and a half ago, I was so casual with my body, I went to 257 pounds. I dropped 27 pounds and I kept it. I stayed at 230 because that's my body weight for, for being 6'4". Longevity, your value goes higher the longer you can last. Point number 10. You become more attractive. Now, what do I mean by more attractive? Sometimes being more attractive is smiling. You know, it, it, it's amazing. So a guy can go from looking like a five to a seven the moment he smiles, right? You got a smile on your face, you're just more attractive. And you smile more the more you exercise because your body's moving, you feel better, right? So you become more attractive. People want to be around more attractive people. People want to do business with more attractive people. People want to refer more attractive people. You become attractive. It helps in your business. You know, I often get asked how I stay so fit and lean. I'm 49 years old and I'm 20% body fat and I don't do very much. I do about 15 minutes of practice every day and that's it. So this is Deconstructing Life with Dan and I'm gonna tell you how I deconstructed my fitness practice so that I stay fit and lean and I don't have to work so hard. So you might've noticed that around the world there's a lot of people who are quite heavy today. Uh, maybe obesity is is the word to use, but you know I don't want to name things. But here's the thing: we have so many people that are so heavy, and why is that? And I think it's because we are eating to feel good. You know, we are using our our taste buds to make us feel good. So we're a sense slave. We're a slave to our senses, our taste buds, and uh, so you know. So that's that's an issue today. And the way I've overcome that is I do intermittent fasting. I don't eat. A breakfast, lunch, and a dinner, and I eat very little, and I use small plates, so I do a lot of little practices like that. But what I really want to share with you here today is the fitness practice that I do. It's very, very simple. In fact, like I said, it's only about 10 to 15 minutes long, but it's every day. 
So it's just a little bit. And you know, it's interesting. I used to teach spinning. I used to run marathons and do months and months of training. But today, all I do is a short little practice, but every day, and it adds up. So here's here's the uh, the trick. Instead of doing what I was doing, which was going to the gym and doing you know 45 minutes of cardio and and doing all sorts of weights and so on, I just do a little bit every day. And all I do is a little bit of cardio. There's something called Tabata, T-A-B-A-T-A, and it's Japanese research that shows that if you do just four minutes of interval training, so it's 20 seconds of high intensity, 10 seconds of low, and it's, it's whatever you like, but you know you could run on the spot or run outside or go on a bike or a piece of equipment, but it's something you can do very easily in your home, and that's what I do. So it's just a daily practice. So I warm up for about five minutes and then I do four minutes to about nine minutes, I finish my cardio for the day. And then I have a yoga mat and I do about 10 to 15 minutes of yoga and I finished my, that's my weights. I, I do some weight bearing stuff on the yoga mat plus flexibility. So this is the practice that I'm doing every day and it's quite simple, quite easy, and it's doable. Um, so if you're having trouble staying fit and you know wondering how do you how do you solve it it's just doing little incremental practices if you've been having trouble over the past few months being productive click the link below and get my free 12-week productivity planner and start moving towards your goals and checking things off and feeling good